Elon Musk told Tesla employees that this is the craziest month of deliveries Tesla will ever have. The CEO stated that Tesla is again trying to stop its draining end of quarter delivery pushes, but he expects a big one this quarter. Meanwhile, Tesla Roadster has been delayed to 2023, and Musk said chip shortages were the problem, claiming they were holding up the launch of new products. Same thing for the Tesla Cybertruck, but this does not mean that facilities that would be supporting the production of the all-electric pickup are not inching towards completion. While the 4,680 cells could fuel Musk's dreams to build millions of EVs a year around the world, Tesla just started reaching out to Model 3 reservation holders in the US to ask if they'd be interested in switching their order to a new version of the car, that's outfitted with lithium-ion phosphate battery cells instead of the usual nickel-cobalt-aluminum oxide cells that have been commonplace in North American Model 3 sedans. In Norway, the Model Y was the most registered model in its debut month. It helped push all-electric car sales to 72% market share. So let's check out all the details, before we start however don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to Technopool, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Tesla has been known to have intense end of quarter delivery pushes due to its distribution system, which is very different from other automakers that use third party dealerships. Since Tesla sells directly to customers, the automaker owns the vehicle until it is fully delivered to the buyer and paid for. It results in transit times being very important for Tesla financially since the automaker takes on the cost of building those cars and doesn't get any money until the customers can actually pick him up. Therefore, when Tesla has a lot of vehicles in transit at the end of a quarter, the quarter looks bad for them financially. It's why the automaker tries to build vehicles for exportations at its Fremont factory and Gigafactory Shanghai early in the quarter and vehicles for local deliveries later to allow for transit time by the end of the quarter. However, this strategy results in Tesla's sales and delivery team having to handle significant quantities of vehicles to deliver toward the end of each quarter, which are called delivery pushes. CEO Elon Musk has earlier indicated that Tesla is aiming to reduce those waves since they put a lot of stress on employees and have been known to affect buyer experience. It has yet to happen and it will certainly not be this quarter, but it might finally end relatively soon. Days ago, Musk held a company-wide call with Tesla employees where he told them to expect a crazy end of the quarter, according to sources on the call who spoke with Electrek. Musk also confirmed that Cybertruck production won't happen until the end of 2022. The CEO reportedly noted that ramp-up of the truck will be very difficult, as there's much new technology in the electric truck. Musk had already hinted in a July update call that the Model Y obviously does take priority over the Cybertruck, referring to the ramp at the company's Texas plant, where Model Y production will follow a new cast body process. Shortly after that, Tesla's order page and customer communications indicated that the first Cybertruck deliveries will happen in early 2022, not late 2021. But this doesn't mean that facilities that would be supporting the production of the all-electric pickup are not inching towards completion. Drone footage from Steel Dynamics Sinton plant last month revealed that the facility is coming to form. Similar to an update video posted by the company a few months ago, the August flyover featured several more structures emerging from the ground and far more machinery being installed in some of the site's key areas. Steel Dynamics didn't provide specific details in its August flyover, but the message was clear. The Sinton, Texas plant was progressing quickly. Steel Dynamics Sinton, Texas, would play a key role in the production and ramp of the Cybertruck. But that's not all. The facility would also be tasked to produce the steel used by Elon Musk's SpaceX for its Starship program. On Wednesday, Musk also confirmed delays for one of the company's most anticipated new vehicles. The second-generation Tesla Roadster has been delayed to 2023, Musk confirmed via Twitter. Chip shortages were the problem he said, declaring they were holding up the launch of new products. The Roadster was originally revealed in November 2017 and is due by 2020. At the time, Musk cited impressive specifications, including 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, a 250 miles per hour top speed, and 620 miles of range from a 250 kilowatt hours battery pack. Tesla almost immediately started accepting $50,000 reservations for the standard Roadster, which has a $200,000 price tag. To get one of the first Founders Series models, customers have to put up that version's full $250,000 price. However, Tesla's battery claims for both the Roadster and Semi which were unveiled alongside the Roadster perplexed analysts. 
As the Roadster's planned 2020 launch drew closer, Musk also admitted that engineering work wouldn't be finished in time, but doubled down on bold claims. Earlier this year he teased Rocket Tech for the Roadster and said that Tesla was finishing engineering in 2021, followed by production in 2022. The extended cylindrical 4680 cell, which Tesla first teased at its battery day last September, brings its own sky-high hopes and challenges. If Tesla can pull off in-house vertically integrated battery manufacturing and the cell performs as advertised, the 4680 could fire Musk's dreams to build millions of EVs a year around the world. Tesla's goals include boosting driving range by more than 50% to 16% of that due to the 4680's newfound punch, while halving battery costs and bringing a $25,000 Tesla to showrooms. Tesla continues to control EV sales in America, but its seemingly insurmountable lead in driving range is under assault. The Arizona-built Lucid Air sedan, the work of Musk's former Model S chief engineer, has demonstrated it can travel up to 517 miles, a high record for any EV. Tesla's best the Model S long range, is EPA rated for 405 miles. The Lucid Air is the first car to show a range that's not just competitive with Tesla but better, a surprising achievement said Venkat Vaswanathan, battery researcher and associate professor of mechanical engineering at Carnegie Mellon University. To gallop back in front, a 50% range leap for a vehicle like the Model S would let it top 600 miles, a diesel-like endurance that seemed unimaginable a few years ago. Sandy Munro, the Detroit area engineer who has gained YouTube fame for his reverse-engineered teardowns and analyses of EVs, is among the experts convinced that Tesla will pull it off. For the cell itself, no question it will kick the daylights out of everybody, Munro says. Speaking of batteries, Tesla just started reaching out to Model 3 reservation holders in the US to ask if they'd be interested in switching their order to a new version of the car that's outfitted with lithium-ion phosphate battery cells instead of the usual nickel-cobalt-aluminum oxide cells that have been commonplace in North American Model 3 sedans. As you may already know, Tesla sells the Model 3 with LFP battery cells in areas outside of North American. It has been assumed for some time that the LFP model the 3rd of May eventually make its way to the States, and now those rumors have come true. Tesla recently sent an email to Model 3 Standard Range Plus reservation holders, most of which may be waiting for an extended period of time to finally take delivery of their cars, asking them if they'd be willing to switch to an LFP Model 3. The car would have about 10 fewer miles of EPA estimated range, but they'd likely be able to take delivery much sooner. Away from the United States, Tesla started deliveries of the Model Y in Europe last month, and within a week, it became the best-selling car in Norway. It helped push all-electric car sales to 72% market share. Norway has been reaching some incredible levels of EV penetration in the market. Electrek has recently reported that electric cars had 64% of the market in the country last month. We have a good example of that since the Tesla Model Y launched in Europe last month. In Norway, deliveries began just a week before the end of the month, and the electric SUV still managed to become the best-selling vehicle in the country. According to registration data, Tesla delivered 1,115 Model Y vehicles in the country. The second best-selling vehicle in the country last month was another electric SUV, the VW ID.4, followed by the Tesla Model 3. The most remarkable thing is how it affected the overall electric vehicle market share in the country. Norway already has the best EV adoption rate in the world, but the Model Y drove it to new records with almost 72% for all electric vehicles. When accounting for hybrids and plug-ins, it goes to over 92% with internal combustion engine vehicles accounting for 7.8% of the market. Model Y vehicles in Norway came from Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai, and it may take a few more months for another shipment to come. It could affect Norway's EV adoption in the next few months, but even more new EV models are expected to arrive on the market later this year, likely pushing to new records again. We hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave your comment in the section below, and please don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming soon, so until then stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.